Good evening. Me llamo. En Marlon. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Marlon. Um, um, Adi. Good evening. Teacher, yo por el momento voy a tener la cámara apagada porque voy caminando, todavía vengo del trabajo. Ok, Marlon. Good evening. Good evening, Rosalie, Evelyn. Good evening, teacher. Let's start. Okay, how are you today? How do you feel? Do you have a nice weekend? Nobody has. <laughs> Very good, teacher. <laughs> Ah, very good. Fueron a alguna parte? No. I sleep. You sleep. All the all Saturday and Sunday. Teachers, we have to eh, stay home on weekends because it's the only time that we can have a little time for us, right? I remember when I worked all the all the week from Monday to Monday. <laughs> I worked Saturdays, I worked Sundays. And but I worked Sundays only in the morning. And when I got home, I I slept, slept, slept. That's why I quit uh, working Sundays because working Sundays is very hard. Okay, let's begin with the class, with the topic for today. Okay, today we begin the unit number three. And the topic is present continuous for future events. Okay, present continuous for future events. The name of the unit is schedule events at the workplace. The object is going to be used present continuous for future events. Okay, we have, in English, we have three ways that we can express futures. In Spanish, I guess only one, but in English we have three. And now we are going to study the present continuous for future. Okay, one of the 
few words that we are going to study today is this, right? Wait a minute, please. Continue. Okay, the words are delivering, seal, committee, interviewing, as soon as, sign, and arrangement. Okay, what is delivering? When you say that you have food and you want to ask food for delivering, is that a for example, pollo campero, eh, bring the chicken to your house. That is delivery service. Delivering is leaving something, right? Leaving something, giving something. Deliver, release something. O sea, como li liberando, right? Liberando. What is seal? Seal. We call see you the people in the company who are executives. Okay, the see you is the C is chief, the E is executive, and the O is officer. A chief is when you say chief, it's like a heifer, right? But it's executive. So the CEO is in the company, the person who is an executive, but is very important in the company. Okay, committee, what is the committee? I don't know if you have committees in your companies, but we in a school, we have committees. For example, we have the health committee, the social committee, and we have the Nutrition committee can be. Okay, now committees. Maybe you have a, your company, social committee is the most common, right? Economical committee, I don't know, business, something like that can be. Okay, interviewing, what is interviewing? Interview is when you go to a place to get a job, you have an interview, okay? What's your name? How old are you? Where do you live? What's your telephone number? Okay, interviewing is the action of asking you questions. Personal questions, mostly. Okay, as soon as, what is as soon as? Okay, that is, this is tan pronto como. Okay, you say, Teacher, I'm going to connect to the class as soon as possible. And that is, tan pronto me sea posible, right? As soon as possible. Sign. Okay, when you sign papers, uh, here is the, this is the part. Then you can have the now, you can have the signature. Sign is that you make your firma, right? That is the action of making your signature, in other words, haciendo su firma, right? That is sign. Arrangements. I include this word not because I am going to explain something about arrangements. Okay, what is arrangements? When you have a party, you make some previous arrangements. For example, you buy the cake, you buy the balloons, and you call the clown, you invite people. Okay, those are arrangements, things that you do to prepare an event, 
or something that you are going to do or have at home or in this case in your company. Okay, everybody, please repeat delivering. 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 Seal. Seal. Committee. 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 Interviewing. 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 Asunas. 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 Sign. 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 Arrangements. Arrangements. Can you please read, Guillermo? Delivery. CEO. Committee. Interviewing. Asunas. Sign. Arrangements. Kathy? Kathy, read the words, please. I'm sorry, <laughs> no me agarraba el micrófono. Delivering, CEO, committee, um, committee, committee, sorry, committee, 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 interviewing, 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 as soon as, as soon as, as soon as, as soon as. as, soon as. Sign arranger arrangements arrangements arrangements. Okay, Abby. Okay, delivery. See you. Community intervene. This is community. Community. Community intervene. Viene. As soon as sign, 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 arrangement, 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 arrangement. Okay. Continue. Okay, the present continuous for future. What is that? Okay, you are in level two, and I guess that you didn't. Study the future in other way. It's the first time you're going to study the future. Okay, but you study the present continuous in level one. I don't remember, right? But okay, yes, I guess you study the present continuous. Okay, the present continuous is in the present, right? Not for the future. It's when you do actions, the, you express somebody or a person is doing some actions in progress. You can see that the person is doing the action. The action is in progress. If you remember, we started the simple present. In the simple present, we said that simple present, we express activities that you do regularly or uh, constantly, okay? That is when you express the simple present. But you say, I wake up early every day, for example, that is simple present, but every day, but in the moment you are not doing the action. But if he, I can see that you are waking up in that moment, I can see the action, that is present continuous in the present. But today we are not going to express the present continuous that we are seeing the action, right? Because you can see, you can, you are, you can see the progress of the action. But in the future, no, because it's the future. You cannot see the action, but you express it and we are going to see how. Okay, I'm going to read this. English speakers often use the present continuous tense, subject, plus B, verb, plus ing, to talk about future arrangements. A future arrangement is a plan that you have decided and organized with another person. Examples, I'm spending Christmas and New Year with my mom and dad. 
We are meeting Susan at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so when you express the present continuous for future, it's because you have decided to do something in the future. Okay, you make some arrangements. Okay, remember that arrangements son arreglos, right? Arreglos, organizaciones. You have made some arrangements for the activity. You make a plan. And then you have the occasion and you can have the, the, the time. Okay, I'm gonna explain this more in Spanish. Okay, cuando usted va a expresar este tiempo en futuro, present continuous for future, es porque usted ya hizo arreglos. Ya hizo arreglos especiales para un evento en el futuro. Ok, y tiene que tener ya, por ejemplo, el, qué evento va a ser, va. Y hasta el tiempo. Hasta el tiempo. Aquí es bien importante poner el tiempo. Ok, o sea, cuando. Tomorrow, next week, can be, right. Okay, present continuous for future again. We use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. Uh, what is this? Okay, for example, you are expressing what you are going to do in the future, but in this moment, you are expressing the plan that you are going to do that activity in the future. But here is a special, the word arrangements. Esta es la palabra clave aquí, okay? Arrangements. O sea, cuando usted ha hecho arreglos, ya tiene todo, ya tiene lugar, ya tiene la hora, ya, tiene, ya sabe todo, cómo va a ser todo. Ya lo tiene bien planificado, solo está esperando que se ejecute. Entonces, ustedes cuando expresa este tiempo. Ok. What is the structure? Subject plus verb. But the verb to be is an, as an auxiliary. Okay. It's not the principal verb. The verb to be the auxiliary. The main verb plus gerum, that is ing. And complement. Ok. Examples. I is the subject, right? Am is the auxiliary verb to be. Meeting is the main verb plus ing. You say meeting. Okay. The interest tomorrow is the, the complement. Okay. Here it says this action will take place in the future. Tomorrow. Ok, cuando usted está expresando el tiempo en futuro using present continuous, es importante colocar una frase que indique futuro, porque si usted no la coloca puede ser interpretado como que está expresando present continuous va de present, que se está ejecutando y usted puede ver la acción. Ok, tomorrow es para el futuro, ok, future. What time is Maria interviewing the people? Okay, here is the, it's a question, right? What time is Maria interviewing the people? She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. Okay, she's interviewing them at 5 p.m. Aquí, como les decía, el tiempo es, 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 es crucial y tiene que ser bien específico, right? Eh, Okay, here, I am writing the report next week. Okay, when do you are going to write the report next week, right? That is the future. I am writing the report next week. Nice. And I am sending it as soon as you finish. Remember what is as soon as? Tan pronto como, right? Nice. And I am sending it, sending it as soon as you finish finish. Okay, questions about this? 
Okay, here is important you understand why do you use the present continuous for future? In, in English, it's very common. In people in the United States, people who speak English is very common. Here, in, in, well, in Spanish, we don't have this tense. We don't have present continuous for future. Okay, but in English, yes. So you have to be accustomed. You have to know how to use it. And it's important you can use it. Okay, and how and why. Okay, I repeat, you use the present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. Later than now, it means más tarde, right? The momento que usted habla. El momento que usted está hablando, lo que ocurra después de eso, okay? Later than now. Okay, let's continue. Okay, the structure actually is this, right? Present continuous use as future. Okay, you have I in the same, okay? Because they, you have the verb to be as an auxiliary. And then is the, the verb to be the same, right? You have I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are traveling tomorrow. Okay, here is important that you consider and never omit the verb to be in is an auxiliary. Okay, for example, you say I traveling, that is not correct. That is not correct. You say I traveling. You have to say I am traveling. I am traveling tomorrow. You are traveling tomorrow. He is traveling tomorrow. She's traveling tomorrow. It is traveling tomorrow. We are traveling tomorrow. They are traveling tomorrow. Okay, here, another example, but in negative. The same, right, as you make the negative when you are using the verb to be, but remember this only is an auxiliary. You say, I am not traveling tomorrow. You are not traveling tomorrow. He's not traveling tomorrow. She's not traveling tomorrow. It is not traveling tomorrow. We are not traveling tomorrow. They are not traveling tomorrow. Or you can use the contractions. Remember that when you can say, I am, I'm, okay, here, I'm not. You aren't, he isn't, she isn't, it isn't, we aren't, they aren't traveling tomorrow. Okay, you can use the contractions. Now, yes, yes, no questions. Okay, remember that when we have the verb to be, we write first the verb to be, but la regla general es siempre que usted, cuando va a hacer una pregunta de sí o no, primero coloca el, el auxiliar. Okay, esa es la regla general. En el presente simple teníamos do y das. Comenzamos la pregunta con do y das. En el pasado, ya van a ver, cuando lo vean, es el did. Y así sucesivamente. La regla general es que siempre comenzamos con el auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar con este, con este tiempo? Es el verbo to be. Entonces comenzamos con el verbo to be. No comenzamos con un do o un das. ¿verdad? Okay. Verbo to be. You say, I am, sorry, am I traveling? Are you traveling? Is he traveling? Is she traveling? Is he traveling? Are we traveling? Are they traveling? Possible answers, okay. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. No, I'm not. No, you are not. No, he is not. Okay, only one observation uh, of this. Okay, it's correct that you say, no, I am not. No, you are not. But try not to use this way. Try to use the contracted because it's the, it's the form that we use it in English. 
contracted. For example, you say, no, I'm not. No, you aren't. No, he isn't. No, she isn't. No, it isn't. No, we aren't. No, they aren't. That is the way. Okay, this is the structure. Okay, as I told you that you have the subject, the verb to be, as an auxiliary, the main verb with ing. Trouble is the is the base form, right? Trouble. But you have traveling is the the adding the ing, right? And this is the main verb. Es, no sé si recuerdan que yo les dije que no. Era lo mismo, pero la misma vez es diferente. Si usted dice base form, no es lo mismo que diga main, main verb, pero la misma vez es el mismo, ¿verdad? Pero no necesariamente puede ser el mismo en algunos casos. Por ejemplo, en este, no, ¿verdad? En este no es base form. No es base form. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque base form es el que no se usa con ningún agregado. ¿Ok? Pero en algunos tiempos, cuando usted tenía, por ejemplo, las preguntas, en el presente simple, usted usa el base form cuando hace las preguntas, cuando hace la negación, ¿verdad? Pero a la misma vez es el main verb. Pero aquí es el main verb, pero no es el base form. Eh, usamos el verbo con ing. Entonces, no es la forma base. Es con ing. Algunos la llaman aquí gerundio. A mí no me gusta llamarlo gerundio. Porque un gerundio tiene su, tiene su explicación especial. O sea, eso de llamarlo gerundio, yo siento que no es muy de avanzados. El gerundio es otro, tiene otra connotación. Que eso es un tema ya de avanzado, como les dije. Aquí solo le vamos a decir que lleva ING, traveling, que okay, in this case. Ok, time expressions. Time expressions with present continuous for future. Okay, time expressions here is important because you need to use time expressions for this tense. Okay, begin here tomorrow, later, this morning or this afternoon or this evening, next week or next month. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Sunday, whatever, okay? Here you have on with the days of the week. In a few minutes, in a few days, or you can say in a minute, only one, right? Only one, in a minute, in a day, because only one day, right? It's possible to hear. In a few minutes, in a few seconds, in a few months. Okay, at, when you have the specific time, at 8 o'clock p.m., at 10 o'clock p.m., today, tonight. Okay, everybody repeat this. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Later. 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 This morning. This morning. This morning. This afternoon. This, this afternoon. afternoon. Okay, look at the pronunciation of, of this. Okay. This, 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 this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Okay, if you say this, you are saying another word, right? You say this, this. This morning, this afternoon, this evening. Okay, repeat. Next week. Next, next week. week. Next month. Next, next month. month. On Monday. On Monday. On, Monday. On, Tuesday. On, Tuesday. On Tuesday. Can you say the days of the week in English? Yes. Can you say the days of the week in English? Claudia, hello, I haven't seen you. <laughs> Hi. How do you feel today, Claudia? Good, I, 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 I can see that you feel better yeah. in your face, I can see it. Okay, uh, tell me the days of the week, Claudia. 
Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Guillermo, tell me the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Uh, how do you say jueves, Katy? Uh -huh, Thursday. How do you say sábado, Evelyn? Uh, Saturday. Okay, good. Yes, I, I see I can. Okay, so remember that when we say the day of the week, we say on. When we say the, the hour, we say at. That's it, okay, only, I only want to explain this. Okay, now we are going to learn the rules. Remember that we have to use the verb with ing. So what are the rules? Here we have the base form. Remember, I explained. What is the base form? No change. The original verb. And with the ing form, then we add the ing. Uh, the majority of the verbs you add ing. For example, you have cook, cooking, eat, eating, speak, speaking. When you have the why, no, you don't change the why. Okay, the why in the consonant or the vowel, why no change? Okay, so you say by budging, enjoy, enjoying, try, trying. Fíjense que aquí en el, algunos verbos, por ejemplo, study no está aquí, pero te lo voy a poner de ejemplo. Study termina con, con vocal, ¿verdad? Y. Igual que try, esta es una Y. By enjoy, esta es una Y, pero try es una Y. Ambos no importa con cuál sea. Usted siempre le va a aumentar el A en G. Pero cuando ya lo pronuncia, este ya se convierte en Y. Ok, budging, enjoying, trying. Studying. Ok, go, do, going. Doing, dry, share, write. Okay, you dry is with e at the end. Share is with e at the end. Write is with e at the end. Eliminate. Okay, eliminate the e here. Eliminate the e, and then you only add ing, and then you say driving. Okay, dry driving. Share. Sharing, right? Writing. The final letter E is eliminated. It's eliminated. Eliminating. He here says, "Okay, look at this verse are very special and controversial at the same time. Look, listen. Here we say lay, lie. Okay, lay is uh, reposar en una superficie, right? Lie is you know, when you say liar, you're a liar because you lie. Mentir, right? So this lying, look at, it's different, right? Piense ese verbo como cambia, no es igual. Okay, lay, lying. Lie, lying. <laughs> Casi igual va, o sea, ya convertido con el ing es el mismo. Okay, entonces la única forma, cuando ya está conjugado, la única forma que van a saber cuál es cuál es en el contexto, es lo único. Por eso le digo que es bien controversial, controversial. Because it's the same in the present continuous. Okay, now we have a special verse. We have a skip, put, and swim. What is the ing form? Skipping, putting, Swimming. Wait a minute, wait a minute, please. Okay. The, 
Okay, here is the final, right? The final three letters are consonant, look. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay, the three last letters are the sequence, right? Consonant, vowel, and consonant. In that case, we double, double the last consonant. You double the P, the T, and the M here, right? So how many uh, rules we have here? We have six rules. <coughs> okay, I want to explain again. Here you add ing to the majority of the verbs. You say cook, cooking, eat, eating, speak, speaking. When they finish with why in consonant or vowel, just add ing. Just say buy, buying, enjoy, enjoying, try, trying. Okay, go is only adding ing and do only adding. ING, and then you say go, going, do, doing, doing. Okay, when they finish with E, eliminate the E and add adding G. Then you say try, driving, share, sharing, write, writing. The verse lay and lie. Okay, lay becomes lying and lie becomes lying. Okay, and they is, that is the way they are. Okay, skip, put, and swim. They are a special verbs because you have, when you add the ing form, you have to double the consonant. How do you know that you have to double the consonant? Because here you have consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. And then you double the, the final consonant. And this is the case is the P, this is the T, and this is the M. You have a skip, skipping, put, putting, swim, swimming. Okay, for me it's important that you know the, the meaning in Spanish of the verbs, okay? ¿Se saben todo lo, el significado de esos verbos en español? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. You know what is a skip? A skip Como the, saltar, saltarse, omitir, saltar. Uh -huh. omitir, skip the saltarse. question. Sí. Skip the question. <laughs> Don't don't answer that question. Skip it. Yes, you're right. Okay. Before we go to wait a minute, please. Before we go to the to the exercise. Wait a minute, please. Yes. Okay, uh, can you please in this moment, I sent you a, a video explaining the present continuous for future. Can you please in this moment, access to that and watch it? If you have questions, please ask me. El video que nos mandó al, al, al grupo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes.
Okay, I guess that you finish because I finish <laughs> too. Okay, yeah, I'm going to pass the attendance. Please say present. Adi? Present. Ana Cristina, I guess she's not here, right? Present teacher. Ah, yeah, she, yeah, there she is. Yes, I am here. <clears throat> Claudia Marcela. Present teacher. Doris. Present. Evelyn. I'm here. Fatima Fabiola. Present teacher. Graciela. Present. Guillermo. Present. Isamar. Yo vi que entró Isamar, pero ya no está. Bueno. Eh, José, no, Carla Janet. Carla Janet. Carla Janet. Katy. Present chicken. Marixa. Present. Marlon. Present. Marvin. Marvin is not in the class. Uh, Patrick. Ya se nos volvió a correr Patrick. Um, Raquel. Present. Rosalie. Present. Sarah. Present, teacher. And Susana. Susan, she's not here. Mm -hmm. For people. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Are you, uh, questions about the video? Questions about something? Yes, yes. Teacher. Yes, Marlon. Eh, yo vi, hay una oración, no recuerdo, pero sí vi que había dos verbos eh, consecutivos. En ese caso, cuando hay dos verbos, tenemos que agregarle siempre el, el ING a los dos. ¿Cómo cuál ejemplo sería? Ah, Porque no sé si no hay un verbo complementario. Creo que decía, she's starting dancing. Pero creo que era como un ejemplo de que no se podía hacer así. Ah, studying dancing, algo así. Sí, studying dancing. Vaya, bien. solamente, como yo les decía, ¿se acuerdan que cuando yo les dije que prefería no llamarle al ING como con forma de tres eh, en continuo, prefería no llamarle gerundio? Porque ahí es donde vienen las equivocaciones, las, las confusiones, podemos decir. Ahí dancing es un gerundio. Eh, los gerundios este, funcionan en su mayoría como sustantivos. O sea, ahí no es verbo, ahí es sustantivo. Dancing no es verbo ahí. O sea, es como baile. Baile no es, no es un verbo. Entonces hay varios que gerundios así, verbos, que con ING se convierten en sustantivos, cambian de función. Ok. Ya, ya, Marlon. Esa sería la, el que usted vio. Sí, teacher. Porque si ese es, esa es la razón. Studying, ahí es estudiando, va. Dancing, pero dancing es estudiando baile. Ah, okay. Okay. Hay bastantes Thank palabras así que se usan como sustantivo y terminan con ING. Inclusive hay varios que también que se usan como adjetivo. Ya lo van a ir aprendiendo ustedes más adelante, o sea, poco a poco. Okay. Créanme de que en la universidad es la materia que generaba eso era un poco así como 
eh, de esas materias que el, le tienen un poquito de miedo. <risa> Pero yo pienso que contra, así poco a poco es mejor, porque nosotros Dios solo nos enseñaban todo eso, claro. Entonces, ahí esa es la explicación. Ok, no other question. No. Ok. Let's uh, complete the exercise in the... Ok, here. Ok, what you are going to do? Complete, ok, fill in the blanks below to complete the sentence, use the words in the above boxes. Okay, that is that uh, you are going to use uh, in the boxes, mm, but you have in parentheses, right? For example, you have have lunch. You say Sam is having lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. The number two, you have you, okay, it's a question, right? What are you going to do if it is a question? Now you have here, in parentheses, the bird. Okay, do it please, complete sentences or questions. Remember the structure, right? Remember the structure. Don't forget the bird to be. Hello, Patrick. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am putting you in this moment on the attendance, right?
Finish, teacher. Vaya, hoy vamos a hacer algo diferente. Este, en lo que están terminando, voy a explicar. Como solamente me pueden digitar, según yo entiendo, ¿verdad? Katy, Ana Cristina, Adi. Serían eh, trepa. Vaya, ustedes solo me van a inscribir lo que los otros le van a decir, ¿ok? Les voy a ir nombrando quién me va a ir diciendo cada respuesta y ellos, este, me, solo son tres, entonces vamos a ver, eh, Ana, usted me va a ayudar de la dos a la, a la cinco. Um, Ana, Katy. Okay, six, seven, eight. Picture. En Adi, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ok. Ok, teacher. ¿Hay, hay alguien más que, que ya está, ya puede ayudar en esto? Va. Entonces nos quedamos solo con tres. Are you ready? Your silence means that no. No yet, teacher. No yet. Okay. I finished it.
Okay, finish teaching. Okay, I guess we can begin. And uh, let's see, because you are only the ones that are going to write. Claudia, begin Claudia with the number two. And you begin with Brian, Anna. Uh, tell Claudia, tell Anna the sentence or question number two. Okay. Are you flying to the are you flying to Dubai next week? Yes, I do. Anna, uh, you can correct Claudia, okay. You can, if you know. No, right. Uh, Así está bien, Claudia. Are you? Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. I think so. <laughs> Flying, flying, flying. Así, Claudia. <clears throat> ah, falta flying. My screen doesn't appear flying. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, flying. I do. Okay, the answer is yes. I well, repeat the answer, Claudia. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. What do you say, Anna? I don't know. Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. okay. Yes, Claudia, because. Remember the you answer with an auxiliary, right? In this case, it's the verb to be. Okay. Yes, I am. Are you? Are you? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you quiet? Yes, I am. Um, number three is for Doris. Thank you, Doris. Well, Doris doesn't answer. Continue with the next. Evelyn. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Parking hidden her students at bed in a few days. You write what she says. If it is a mistake, you tell her. Okay. Is correct it's what got, you say? Yes. It's correct. Okay. What is missing? El verbo de R. Uh huh. Add it, please. Así está bien, Evelyn, o corrijo algo. <risa> Yo se va a seguir escribiendo. <risa> Yo lo veo bien, pero... Okay. Is giving? Yeah. El verbo to be. Is giving. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Is, is, entonces. Is uh -huh. giving. Ok. Because it's Mrs. Perkins. It's a woman, right? So is. Is giving. 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 Uh -huh, it's given. Remember that okay. the, verb, the present continuous, you have the auxiliary verb to be in the verb. The main verb is with the ing. Okay, now it's correct. Okay. 
Now I'll continue with the number four is for Fatima Fabiola. Fatima in the class. Hurry. Hello? Yes. Hurry the training leaving in the in ten minutes. Así, Fatima? Yes, yes. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yes. You can correct her, Anna. Or anybody? Okay. Is living. Is living. Yes. Is living. Uh huh. Is because we are talking about the train. Is living. Okay, that is the correct. Number five is for Graciela. I am getting up very early tomorrow morning at five o'clock. Sí. Yes. Up. No up. es out. Es up. Up. Getting up. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Kathy, the number six is for Guillermo. Kathy, you have to write it. Okay. Are John coming to the party? It's okay. No, he isn't. Okay, it's okay. it's good. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if Carla Janet is participating. Teacher, yes. Um, is correct. Uh, the question. Yes. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking coming and isn't but the beginning begins with the verb to be, right? But what is the appropriate for John? Aren't? No, 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 this is a question. Sí. Sí. Sería person. Is. Yes, uh -huh. sorry, yes. I didn't I didn't notice this before. <laughs> okay, yes, it's is. You begin with the capital letter, right? Because it's the beginning. Uh, let me see if he, Car Carla is here because is the next Carla, are you going to participate? Okay, no. 
Hey, Patrick is there. Ya se fijaron que ahí anda Patrick. <ríe> Patrick ahí anda queriendo escribir. Sí, anda queriendo escribir. <ríe> ok, number seven. Sí, Patrick, y usted nos, nos ayudaría, porque fíjese que yo aquí noté a, a, al principio quiénes me iban a ayudar en eso, pero no le había apuntado a usted, pero si usted está eh, disponible también. Para ayudarnos a, a compartir pantalla y, y, y a escribir. Ok, teacher. Ok. Um, next is number seven. Uh, Marixa. Eh, no estoy segura, pero I am going. Very good, Marixa. Uh, Kathy, remember you are writing this? Yes. Okay. 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 And, and we finish with this. Number mm -hmm. eight uh, is Marlon. Marlon, where are you? Is Marlon gone? Quizás se me salió Marlon, ¿verdad? Que ya no lo veo por ningún lado. Yes, Marlon is gone. Okay, continue with Patrick. Number uh -huh. eight. Patrick, can you tell Kathy the number eight? Eight, okay. Kathy. ¿Lo dirá sí. Kathy o lo escribo? ¿Cómo? No entendí. No, ok, si Kathy. Si lo dice, yo lo escribo. Ajá, uh -huh. Kathy is going to write it and you say it. Ah, ok. Number eight. We are not going... Out, right? Not going out on Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it's correct. No, we are. Oh, uh, no, the, the, the negative form are not. Uh-huh. Yes, gracias. Yes. Okay, Adi, continue with Raquel. Okay. Raquel, tell Adi the number nine. Tomorrow is Saturday. I is sleeping late. I wish I could. Así. No. I sleeping, dijo. Sleeping.
Adi, are you writing something? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Is what you said, Raquel? Is what you said, Raquel? Yes. And my question is, are you sure? <laughs> I always say, are you sure? Maybe she's sure. Okay, cut. Uh, Adi, sorry. Adi. Uh, do you have any correction or is it okay for you too? Uh, is it sleeping? Um, no, no, I am. Okay. I am. I am. I am sleeping. Uh -huh, but the spelling is incorrect. Because you brought one P, no E. Say E, E, right? Also, besides that, you didn't write the verb to be right. Yes, that's it. That's it. Okay, try to <laughs> do it fast, everybody. Okay, number ten is for Sally. Yes, I am playing football tomorrow afternoon up to three. Hey. 30, 30. I am playing. I am. I'm playing. Yes. Correct. Okay, number 11 is for Sara. Style to drop the TV. We are eating dinner soon. Is it's okay, Sarah? Yes. Yes, okay, it's correct. And the number 12 is for you, Adi. Okay. Maybe here is having, right? Having. Having. Only one. A, the A for the E. She erased everything. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's it. Okay, don't worry for the for the previous. Okay, guys. Yes, I see that you did it well. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. And now we are going to go to another practice, but this is in in the WhatsApp. Okay, you are going to do like a game. Uh, enter where it says game. Remember that when you use the present continuous for future is because you have decided and do something before you are saying that, right? 
So that is the game about the thing that you have planned, you have done previous to the time that you are speaking, okay? For example, you have a party tomorrow, what you have done before? Buy balloons, buy a cake. So the thing that you did it before, in the moment you say, I am having a party tomorrow, but what did I do to for that plan? I bought a, a, a cake, I bought balloons, I invited people. And the, the thing that you did it before, that is what you are going to do here. Okay, now go to the WhatsApp, please. And wait a minute, please. Go. I want to send it in this moment. Okay, do the game. Dicha, yo ya estoy en esa página, pero no me deja relacionar ni Yo tengo que escribir, tampoco me deja. O lo tengo que hacer en mi cuaderno. No, solo selecciona, solo selecciona la actividad la y lo pega así como debajo en el espacio en blanco. Ah, ok. Gracias.
I finished the chat. Ready? I'm finished. And by the way, Patrick, by the way, Patrick, you stay with me tonight. <laughs> okay. Every tell me the one that wants to participate. Okay, I'm going to tell you the arrangements and then you tell me or the previous decision. And you tell me the sentence. Okay. What do you have? I got the plane tickets. I'm flying to Spain for a holiday soon. Exactly. And what do you have? In his parents said it is okay. He's staying at the friend's house tonight. Good. What do you have when say, she's got an appointment? She's got. She's going to the de dentist next week. Yes. And what do you have when we say? We agreed to meet at the park. I meet my friend after school. <laughs> at the same time. Okay, uh, what do you have when you say they are, they have invited all of people? They, they are having a barbecue at the weekend. And when we say we have, we have tickets for $18.30. There we're watching the new Superman film tonight. Good. And when we say we ha have both the ingredients, the ingredients. My mom is helping me make a cake tomorrow. Yes, and our teacher has book a bus. Our class is visiting a museum next week. Excellent. Uh, how was it your score ten percent, Anna? Or the one hundred percent? No. Yes, teacher. I hope yes. Okay. Uh, we have few minutes to finish, so we are gonna go in a hurry to see the manual, guys. Okay, the page for this is the number. Wait a minute, because I cannot move this. The page is the number. Wait a minute, please, because I move this. Okay, she's the page, the page 29. Okay, here we have a, a conversation. Um, maybe we are not gonna practice so deeply, but we are gonna practice, of course. Here you have two people talking, right? It's Peter and Henry. And when we read, we are going to complete this, okay? The exercise three, very quickly. So pay attention, I'm gonna read it. Hello, Henry, <clears throat> I have a question. 
who is representing the company in the yearly conference. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee, the committee about it. Okay, now number one, he's present. Uh, what is missing here? He's present with a new employee. What is? Maria. Mm. Mm. He's present. What is missing here in the their present? It's not in the conversation, but. Because he is doing something, but because of the conference, right? He he's presenting with a new employee. Yeah, he's presenting, presenting. 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 And here, in number two, what is missing? <clears throat> I am. Yeah, I am. I am informing the committee about that. Okay, guys, we are going to go to the breakout rooms to practice a little bit this conversation only for a few minutes.
Hello, Rosalie. How is your baby? Um, está dormido ahorita. He's sleeping. <laughs> ah, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's normally sleeping at this time, right? Yes. You are, you are lucky. <laughs> Okay, guys, now we are going to enter to the breakout rooms again, but this time with a group of three. And you are going to do the following. Okay, you are going to complete the exercise four, right? Page uh, 28, uh, no, uh, 30, sorry, 30, page 30. 30. Mm -hmm. Exercise four. And besides, I I would like that you ask or comment to your partners in the group about a, something that you have scheduled, a, 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 some event that you have scheduled at your workplace. And say it using the present continuous, right? Say something that you have for the future but you have a, already arranged. You know what I mean? Do you have decided and you know what you are going to do, right? Okay, I'm going to explain this in Spanish. Okay, vaya, como ustedes acuerdan que estamos usando el present continuous, cuando hemos decidido hacer algo, pero lo decidimos en el pasado, no lo estamos decidiendo ahorita. Porque si lo estamos decidiendo ahorita, eso ya no se usa el present continuous. Se usa otra estructura que más adelante eh, la van a ver. Este, eh, algo que ya decidieron y ustedes ya tienen algo arreglado. Se, ¿Se acuerdan en el juego, verdad? Que en el juego ya habían hecho algo previo a ese evento. Entonces, lo mismo tendría que ser aquí. Solo mencionen algo que ustedes, ah, en mi trabajo... Yo voy a hacer tal cosa y la voy a hacer mañana, la próxima semana. Um, ya hice esto para tal, ¿verdad? Ya eh, escribí algún reporte o ya envié un email o ya invité a estas personas o ya eché esto a andar, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Ustedes sabrán según su trabajo. Ok, entonces solo coméntenlo. Cuando nos salgamos, entonces me lo van a decir. ¿Qué les dijeron sus compañeros? ¿Ok? Entonces son dos cosas, completar ese ejercicio y que sus compañeros le digan una actividad. ¿Ok? Only one, only one. Let me see, you are. Five, 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 five.
Spotify. Um, también sería... Eh, que no sé cómo se dice la palabra compaginar. O sea, eh, estoy compaginando documentos para entregarlos la próxima semana. Compaginando, revisando, chequeando tal vez, ordenando, comparando. Um, no, pero es que es ordenarlos para archivar. Entonces sería, ajá, orden, ordenar. Así. Ajá, ¿verdad? Vale. Por salir. Por organizing. También. Organizing. And Graciela is here. Yes. Okay. It's very cheese organized. Organized documents. de la página veintinueve, ¿verdad? No, thirty, thirty, thirty. Okay, thank you. Y ya. En Katia. Hello, Hello teacher. Um, en Katia. Sería, so, yeah, I am sending emails. Um, sending emails. Mm. On Friday. You wanted to finish, Guillermo. You want to begin it, uh, finish very soon. Did you finish yes. the sentences? Yes, teacher.
three, two, one, zero. There you go. Okay, very quickly tell me this. Okay, number two. Yes. What is in the number two? Mark is is send sending the letter the next week. Hmm. Wait a minute, please. I don't like the way it is. <laughs> Mark is sending. A letter next week. Number three. Jane is working on the report tonight. night that's it right number four Walter is singing Walter is Walter, Walter is singing it's in the checks. The checks today. Today. Check. Mm -hmm. Checks. The checks. Is singing or sending? Signing. Sing. Uh, sign. Signing. 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 Uh huh. Signing. Okay. The checks. Signing. Signing. The checks. Today. Today. Uh huh. Remember, singing is la 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 la. Signing, 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 signing. Signing, signing. But thank you for your participation. Anyway, okay. And number five, Marina is organizing. The Marina is organizing the presentation. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Do you see how quickly I I type? <laughs> Me la pico. Uh. Oh well. Oh, yes. This is. Yes. Okay. And then, Guillermo, what are you doing here? Do you work in a bank? No. Okay, <laughs> number six. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. He's going to the bank tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Very good. Now, it's okay for everybody? Nadie se comió el verbo to be? No. Bye. Ya me alegro. I am happy, happy, happy. En iris. <laughs> okay, now everybody, before you leave, you cannot leave, sorry. Before you leave, tell me one sentence for each of your classmates about what they say. <clears throat> okay, beginning, Guillermo. Tell me the sentence, one sentence with your classmates about what the the plan that she told you. No, Guillermo. Uh, Sara is going to enter an order into the system tomorrow. Happy. 
Guillermo is going to great send emails tomorrow. Sara. Patty is going to send emails on Friday. Okay, all of you are going to send emails. Okay, one on Fridays and some tomorrow, right? Anna? <clears throat> Rosalie is organizing documents for a kid or child the next week. Hey, Evelyn? Ali is teacher in the... Ay, se me olvidó el nombre de donde ella trabaja, porque eso casi, eso no lo hicimos al final. No te preocupes. Ok, Adi. Es maestra, pero no sé de dónde. Padre Arrupe, Arrupe. Ah, ok, ok, Padre Arrupe, entonces. Uh -huh. Adi is teacher in the Arrupe, Padre Arrupe. Is teaching. Teaching. That's teaching. correct. Yes. Yes. Uh, Adi is teaching. Uh, the Padre Rupe tomorrow. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Rosalie. <laughs> Rosalie. Um. Anna is organizing things for the next month's geography project. Uh, she's organizing the things for the, she's organizing things for the next month's geography project. In her geographic project. Okay, very good. And next, Marixa. No la compartimos, sí. Yo sí la hice, pero no, no compartimos. Mire, voy a castigar a esos que se salieron antes. Ya vi que varios se salieron. Ok. <laughs> Patrick, inter... no, I am kidding, I am kidding. Ok, Patrick. Patrick. So... Hola, teacher. Sorry, pero no, no. No, no compartieron. No. Adi. Perdón, teacher, no alcanzamos a llegar a esa parte. Graciela. Rosalie is organizing documents for achievement the next week. Oh, good. Raquel. No, no llegamos a esa parte, teacher. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I hope that you have a nice night. Sleep with angels. <laughs> Drink with angels and sleep with the angels. Okay, and see you tomorrow. See okay, you. Have a nice night. Bye. See you. Thanks. Good night, see you. Good night, Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, Patrick, <clears throat> very quickly. Hola, teacher. ¿Qué tal? Este, ¿Cómo se ha, se ha estado sintiendo? Pues la verdad que <ríe> cansada. Sí, bien cansadita. Es que el trabajo sí. de nosotros es bien estresante. Sí, la verdad que sí es... es complicado. Eh, fíjese que lo que sucedió es que eh, yo cambié de teléfono y no me llegó la información. Yo no sabía que ya habían comenzado. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, fue hasta una semana después que del trabajo, del colegio, me empezaron a decir, ¿verdad? De que por qué no me estaba conectando. Entonces, y mis compañeras también, como viera que a veces no las veo porque... Este, tenemos clases en diferentes edificios y así, 
Y así de carrerita había a Susana y ella fue la que me dijo. ¿Y usted por qué no se está conectando? Y ahí me di cuenta. Así que por eso es que yo no, no me conecté prácticamente una semana. Y honestamente todavía no he ingresado a la plataforma. Y eso estaba viendo, como yo evalué el viernes ¿verdad? y actualicé a todos. Y, toda, Uh y mire, ¿y cómo quedó ahí en, con ellos? ¿Se comprometió usted a terminar el curso? -huh. No, lo que sucedió fue, bueno, de hecho que yo no me había percatado que el profe me había mandado de nuevo hasta la entrevista, la, ¿cómo se llama? la Lo que se hace al final, la encuesta. Yo la llené, pero no tomé captura. Entonces, hasta después, hasta días, muchos días, me di cuenta que él me la había vuelto a enviar para que la hiciera, pero también ahí sí no sé cómo sería la solución. Ajá. Porque eh, sí es, de eso sí no, no le podría dar información yo porque no soy la encargada de eso, sino que la, la que está en el grupo. O sea, está en el grupo, ¿verdad? Entonces, Sí, ya me metí. entonces aclare bien la situación con la, con la que es la administradora de ese grupo. Okay. Eh, ella le puede ayudar o si no, la que envíe los mensajes cuando... Hoy, por ejemplo, lo envió, eh, se llama Marixa. Espérenme. Quiero ver cómo se llama. Sí, Marixa. Ya. Ah, no, Mayra. Mayra, ya. Mayra Rodríguez, y ahí, da los, lo, ahí pone los teléfonos ella. Ah, pues con ella puede comunicarse para que le aclare bien si usted está registrada y si va a poder terminar su curso y seguir con otros en el caso que termine este. Ok, vaya, que me voy a, voy a escribirle mañana a ella. Ajá. Ajá, porque sí, eso, en eso sí no lo podría ayudar yo, porque son cuestiones administrativas, solo ellos lo, lo llevan. Exacto, correcto, yo sé. Sí, Uh voy a, voy a escribirle mañana a ver qué me dicen. Por eso yo también me extrañé porque vaya, las últimas dos semanas este, solo hice unos cuantos ejercicios, no terminé, entonces... pensé que ya no iba a continuar y a eso un poco me atuve. -huh. Entonces fue sorpresa cuando me dijeron, mire, la está mencionando en la asistencia y fue como que, ah, de verdad, por eso es que yo no me había conectado. Honestamente, tengo una carga académica demasiado pesada y, y si sí hay ratitos que siento que no doy ya. <ríe> sí, Aunque este... yo, yo siento que usted es buena. Eh, en lo que está aquí participando, participa bien y todo lo hace bien. Lo Gracias. único, lo único que sí, ¿verdad? De que no es... Me ha encantado, es una de las cosas que siempre me ha gustado inglés. Me gusta mucho, pero ahorita quizás en mal momento me metí a, a estudiarlo, porque sí, este año, el año pasado quizás hubiera sido un poco más fácil, yo salí a la una, hoy salgo a las cuatro y me han cuadruplicado la cantidad de secciones que atiendo, entonces siento el O sea, lo pesado de estar todo el día en el colegio y el ratito que vengo siento que cuando ya, ya son las ocho de la noche. Entonces, no, porque a mí el inglés la verdad me encanta. Uh -huh. Sí, lastimosamente, ¿verdad? Entonces Uh yo, yo la invito a hacer eso, comuníquese con la -huh. Sí. Uh encargada y así usted está con segura porque no, -huh. no vaya a ser de que algo no esté bien y usted no, no sabe. Exacto, sí. Yo lo voy a hacer mañana. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces la dejo para que descanse. Vale. Muchas gracias, <ríe> oye. bueno, descanse lo más que pueda. Sí, cabal, mire que ahora a las tres me dan. Ay, no, con razón, con razón. Bueno, este, mucho. Patrick, yo, usted ya sabe, siempre estoy aquí dispuesta a ayudarla. Cualquier cosa, Ya. y escríbame en WhatsApp, dudas que tenga de algo, ¿ok? Bueno. Muchísimas gracias, cuídese. Ok, Buenas have a nice noches. night. Thank you.